So I'm sure it's going to be over there. Friggin' positive. If I don't find it very soon, I'm just going to leave it and get on with the main quest. You can get so many crystals from that cave and it does come in really handy. If I can. That's a feature that was only very briefly touched upon in this game, but they expanded it a little bit more into the game during the uh, la yeah during the next game. The tactics system comes in very handy. I never realised how it actually worked until a little re well recently after replaying this game again. But it does come in very handy, believe it or not. I'm not interested in the droid. But I am going to have to leave, like, just get on with it very soon because I'm going to get very annoyed. And then I'm going to end up throwing the controller at something. Not the controller, probably my mouse. <laughs> no excuse to find this bloody place. I ain't fighting the flaming Mandalorians. There's been enough blood spilt. Let's just kill these for some more amusement first. I'll tell you what, you know, you know, you get in. Oh, I remember when a game was realistic. Because I can remember when this... There's the Blue Cave. I will kill this game because it's relocated itself magically. Uh, Bastila. What can I do? Disengage that for a start. And run! Woman, no offence. To women everywhere, I am not sexist. Maybe a little. But I'm really not. Kinrath! Now very, this is going to be very, very easy. Ready, what? Now Bastalor keep us buffed since she has the Jedi support on her. Now this cave actually expands itself in the second in the Sith Lord. It becomes a much bigger place. In this one it's more just very small but full of enemies that open can very easily overwhelm them. Crystal formation. You have acquired a lightsaber crystal. 
Now, for each of these you kill, you get a red crystal. Which evidently... Apparently is a bad thing. Remains of... Jura is still bonding an ally response package. No one cares, funnily enough. Oh, uh, I don't know why I'm killing these Kimrath eggs. Maybe because I feel like it. You have acquired a lightsaber crystal. Now I could I could be wrong. Like not all these will be red, like red crystals. Most of them probably will be. I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna head back just like very quickly go back to the Ebon Hawk, outfit this light my lightsaber with some crystals and also I'll outfit Bastilers with some as well. Turn to the Ebon Hawk. One th this is one gripe that I do have over this game. It's it's that um the the Jedi robes don't look right. They don't look like actual Jedi robes. They're just I don't know. They just don't look right to me. Right, so that should do it, methinks. Now I'm going to be heading to those ruins. After I've done that, I will be ending this part of the Let's Play. Because, well, we'll be pretty much done. Once we get the option to leave Dantooine, that's when I'll be cutting it off. Then after that, I'll be doing each of the planets in my order, which will be... If I remember correctly... It's going to be Tatooine, uh, what's the other ones, Kashyyyk, Manan, and then Korriban. Now we need, I know, I know it seems a bit stupid to be obsessing over those lightsaber crystals, but you do, they are a very big necessity. Especially with the upgrade system in this game, it makes it necessary. That's the uh, that's the only way that I can put it. it do these cafounds seem to be respawning, by the way. I'm determined to think they are. Now, once we get master speed, we'll get another round. We'll get an extra one more extra round for an attack. So we'll be doing well. We'll be doing a lot of damage by the end game anyway. But basically, it'll make make the end. The ending of the game so much easier. Oh, the final boss so much easier. Anyway, let's go into the ruins. Oh, one second. Okay, that's better. So every little once in a while, I'm going to be stopping the recording as well, just because. Where's that Jedi Knight gone? Nemo, I think he was called. Majority speaking in a language you do not recognise. 
What language is that? What are you trying to say? Bastel, anyway, do you have any idea what the droid is saying? I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can redu reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. I recognise this language. I recognise this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Okay. But you are not of the slave species, neither are you of the builders. You are like the one who came before. <laughs> 